Hey everybody, it's me, Pam Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you I finished up um, all six of my cards. I did, had one done, did two for you, and then I went ahead and did three more. So I got all of the card bases that I had cut out of this paper. I got them all done and I got them made into cards. I'll show you one by one. That was one of the first ones I made that I showed you. What I did was I had some uh, chipboard pieces from a very, very old collection I had bought either on QVC or HSN or something like that. Chip wants to play. And he's going to bump the card. See? See what he does? See? That's why I can't have him up here. Here. My chair. So anyway... It was it was by Three Birds, and I forget what it was called, but some of the chipboard pieces were pretty cool, and they kind of match this. The purple and the plum match the purple here. I needed it um, to come off the back a little bit because the back is so busy that I just did what I could with some of the dies and... Um, and... <laughs> those things you squeeze with your hands punches <laughs> and then I also used Tim Holtz um, small chalk hang on a second trip it down bad and put some cinnamon like little sayings on all of them so that was that there's nothing inside I did put my stamp on the back so I am gonna own it I own it all right put that one there and this is the the second one of those that I did same thing here, the rectangle um, that I cut out of some, a die cut set that I had that I'd gotten from Allie and one of those chipboard pieces from the same Three Birds um, set. And then this one says, do your best. And I put it with white because it was going to go on black. Right. And then this is the, the last one that I did on on camera for you. This was the background. And um, I got a what I did was I had a square, I just cut a, uh, I mean a rectangle, and then I rounded the corners and put this one on there. And it says, make it count. And I did another one. Most of it was postage based. If you can see, postage or travel, something like that. So I found that, that, uh, chipboard piece and it's from like a postcard with a postmark I just cut a circle out of a punch that I have <laughs> now that I remember the word do more than exist and this kind of means like travel and all that stuff all right then this one I didn't know what to do with it I tried to pick up the purple in the background with it and then this is um laugh love live laugh love that was that was what that one was that was another background that i did off camera this one is a postage stamp because it was a square with a little bit of oomph and this one says all you need is love i picked up the love part there so and the last one is kind of like flowers and birds so most everything is ferns flowers flowers ferns birds with nests flowers birds Birds, crowns, and flowers, ferns, roses, flowers, flowers. And that one had that birdcage one. I happen to have this this um, die cut that worked really well with it. And below, I was just because. All right, here we go. Those are the ones that I made. The cards that I made using uh, my washi tape to make backgrounds. Now I did an experiment. First one was an epic fail. My beloved little mini composition books. I said, well, let me try to cover one. Well, you can see through it. There's no way to make the edge so it's not sticky. This is going to be mine, of course, but definitely see through it. I had no idea what I was thinking because, you know, they start out looking like this. And I just started, put the washi over it, yada, yada. doesn't matter if you go all the way over um cover up the little binding part because you know they open this way i said okay i got smart so i'll do it the same way i did these i put it on the card stock 
And then I put it on the, on the book. It's a little bit, makes the cover a little bit thick. I didn't quite get it perfect. Uh, it's a little bit, it hangs over a little bit down here. But you have to put this stuff down either with double-sided sticky tape or uh, like I use fabric tack because the plastic on the washi, you know, nothing sticks to it. What I did is keep this flat. I just cut one circle, I'll cut this circle out of a different, like a pad of paper that I have. It's, I forget what it is, Country Road, I think, from, it was a, a four by six or a four and a half by six and a half pad, Country Road from Hobby Lobby. And then I just used my label maker and just put Be Amazed. All right, there we go. This is what I came up with. Washi tape cards, and I actually covered a, um, a mini composition book. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.